Hey YouTube, it's Taki with Taki Tech. Thank you so much for watching today. We're going to discuss um, organizing our project and putting our information into different modules. And what you see here already is I've created a new module with names and I've taken a lot of the subroutines and functions out of the get data module. Um, if you just want to take a look here real quick, um, you see we just have a get data and we have the gender and the hair subroutines left and I took the rest of them and I put them into the names module now this is a little tricky when you do this because you have to make sure that you declare the correct um, subroutines public and the other subroutines private um, I made most of these private I believe this is the only one that gets called outside of this module is a determined data and it's called from right here. Now I also have to take a look and see, okay, so we had a couple of, of variables up here that we decla declared at the module level, need to make sure they're in their appropriate place as well. So what I'm going to do next here is I'm just going to uh, create two more modules live here so that you can see how it's done. Just um, click on modules and then I right click and I do insert module and then I go down to the name in the properties window and I just type in this one will be hair. And let me just do that one more time here. We're going to do insert module, go down here and I'm going to type gender. Okay, so now we have our gender mod module. Go into the get, get data module and I'm going to take out these two fill gender and make gender those two subroutines I'm going to take them out of the get data module and I am going to put them into the gender module and since fill gender and make gender are both called in the names module I'm going to need to make these public but I didn't put them in the names module because a couple months from now when I've worked on several different projects and I might need to make a change here and I might need to make a, a specific change to the way we process it process the gender rows here when we give our fake names and we want to have more data or more personal information about our fake names and we say okay well this is a person a male or female I might want to process that differently and it will be easier for me to find right here in the jet gender module which is the reason why we're doing this and the reason why we broke it out broke out names as well so when we make both of these public it means that other modules can, can call them otherwise if they were private only they can only be used by other subroutines or functions within the present module so now I'm going to go ahead and get into get data I'm going to take out the two hair modules here get hair and hair color so now we're just left with one function in our get data uh, module let's put this hair and paste it in here again this is a private subroutine where we're getting the hair color and that's fine um, I'm gonna need to make this public get hair color because that's called by our main method here so to speak get data down here get hair color I'm going to rename this get data as your project grows you realize that the variable names that you've chosen sometimes are not the best so I'm going to rename this module to main module and this could be the main subroutine I'll just leave it as get data for now while I think of it I want to take a look I don't think I'm using end range or start row within this module I need to figure out where these are used and then we have new sheet name declared all throughout this module as a variable but it's really not I don't see it being used either so um, it's going to be just a few minutes and I'll work on that with you as well
So from what I could tell, both start row and end row range are both in the names module, but I'm going to make sure of that right now. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to do control F, highlighting it, and that's going to help me find it. And I'm going to say within the current project. So you go down here into search and you could say current project or current module or current procedure even. Procedure meaning subroutine or um, function. So start row again, both names, same. Looking up here to see if we leave, we leave uh, the module. Enter data is in that module. Okay. So this is actually going to have to be a public variable, public global variable, or they both mean the same same thing basically. There's a little bit of a nuance with um, with VBA and what's the difference between a global and a public variable. And global was basically just used more or less um, as an inheritance type of, of word. Public is the, is the correct terminology that should be used. Um, so let me go back here to the names module and we're going to make start row public, meaning that all the modules can use start row. All right, one more thing here. Let's let's take out. Let's take a look at end row range. And let me see. Uh, we're going to do a Control F on that. Go through the whole current project. So we've got that way at the bottom there, and enter data. And again, didn't feel gender. So these are both shared by by two different modules here. And one of the things you really don't want to have a lot of public variables that are that anyone can change, uh, meaning that I could write uh, someone else could come in here and write a different module and start messing around with the start row and the end row range. But for this scope of this project, um, I think it's fine for right now. It's something that we will take a look at later on, and maybe we might change later on. So I've, I've, we've talked about a lot here today. I'm going to end this episode here. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. If you have any suggestions as well, leave them in the comments. If you like the information that you received on this video, please give me a thumbs up. And um, if you like the content on this channel, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, take it easy.